Hi, so we're gonna be talking about the hypest thing, no, the best thing that ever happened in season, ah, uh, no, season, not the best thing that happened in 2020, and that is Attack on Titan final season. But I can't tell you how hyped I was because if I'm gonna show some clips because uh, it's me waiting when the anime will start because uh, basically it starts at 12:10 p.m. a.m. in Japan and in the Philippines uh, Japan is only like one hour above or like after us so basically we get it at 11:10 p.m. which is I am so envious because a lot of countries for example I saw this thing I'm not sure don't quote me on this but Brazil apparently uh, in Japan uh, in their time 3:45 p.m. is the time that Attack on Titan, like uh, simulcast or like uh, what they call this broadcast, which basically they can wait for it to like show in their Crunchyroll or their Funimation or like Netflix. But for me, I cannot wait because I literally have classes today, which I watched today the first episode. Like they can wait. Meanwhile, I'm here patiently and w patiently waiting for the final season to drop and I, I let me tell you I I wish I didn't wait because I waited for an hour and I actually waited for an hour and I kept I, I'm gonna say this I watched this on a site I was waiting on the site because uh, uh, the Netflix in our country they're gonna release it on December 11 which is pretty late but I want to jump in the hype train so basically I have no choice and just basically just watch it on the sites so I kept like telling me they did that no oh, I don't want to go up yet and then I kept like uh, refreshing the site and then I've been waiting there for an hour the TV is open I've been waiting for them but I had to sleep and wake up at like 8 and then watch it then Man, let's talk about the first episode like <sighs> okay let's can I just say Gabby I if I didn't know what she did in the manga because I got spoiled by my friends I probably would have put her in my top one waifu this season if like even if Adachi and Shimamura is airing this season if I didn't know what Gabby did in the manga I would probably just like yep number one waifu Probably the contribution was like the v the VA voice actor actress did a really good job on like uh, voice acting her like it made her so much likable than she is in the manga but like really man also can I just say the opening song the opening song like a lot of people have been saying like the opening song was mid like the other opening songs was better but it's okay but what kind of drugs are you taking? to say that this opening song is mid like it's literally a banger literally the visuals for a banger it's full of people or just explosions I was uh, waiting for the opening song because I really want to hear it because Attack on Titan is known for like having such banger songs and man I'm not disappointed like I've been keeping on like I kept on repeating the the song and I, 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 I don't know how to like the same video twice I don't really uh, okay I think so basically the visuals and the opening song let's uh, at least uh, it's full of explosions it's literally no spoilers maybe if the manga readers like saw the, the opening they're probably gonna say like there's a little bit spoilers but I really didn't understand anything I couldn't get any spoiler from it just good I guess I mean they could probably done better with the animation or the visuals and the opening but the song is good enough, I'm, I'm not even gonna complain. As for the CGI, a lot of people have been complaining on the CGI, she, CGI but I really didn't notice that there was a CGI until the people told me there was CGI. Like, 
uh, I think there was this time where I was scrolling to Twitter because I was uh, looking for some tweets by I'm gonna talk about Twitter later I've been scrolling some tweets for the Attack on Titan final season and I've seen people complaining oh Reiner ha uh, the, has a bad CGI and then and at that exact time I was watching Reiner it's he's already transformed into a Titan and then I mean, look oh wait is he in the CGI and then I kept looking oh yeah he's in a CGI that was literally my reaction. I did not care about it being CGI or not. Also, the fact that it didn't like the any of the main characters that we know from the past is from the past uh, didn't appear except for John, which is people might not have like noticed if they didn't really pay attention. In the ending, they showed John like holding a is it John or Jean? I think Jean is more like a girl's name, but I think it's John. He ha he's holding a, a newspaper, and guess what? He's freaking trending on Twitter with like 100,000 tweets. On like, I don't know what country it is, but he's freaking trending. Like, talking about things going on trending, Attack on Titan broke Crunchyroll. Like, literally, the servers did not work because of Attack on Titan. And a lot of people have been complaining, especially those like, a lot of like, not fans of Attack on Titan, like a lot of people have been saying, oh, Attack on Titan fans are sad, they can't watch uh, Attack on Titan on Crunchyroll, but what about us who doesn't want to watch Attack on Titan and just watch other animes? Like, MAPPA really did a good job, like, if I'm gonna be honest, I really like the last designs better, like the Wit Studio si designs, but because like in Wit Studios, it's more of like, you would they call this, they, they make use more of the thick lines, thick lines and yeah I really like those thick lines thick and I can't repeat it thick I just want to say thick I really like the with sudo style where it's clear and thick lines but whereas in the mapa style it's like kind of filterish like it's like they put the episode in a filter before they air it but I really didn't mind it the mood was okay it's not I mean it's not underwhelming, but it's not overwhelming either. Again, going back on the Attack on Titan thing, I, I was using my, my Twitter like one or two days ago. I had like 27,000 likes on my Twitter. And then I, I opened my Twitter full of Attack on Titan news and just pictures and fan arts. And ever since Attack on Titan dropped, I had 35,000 likes on Twitter. And also, if you don't know, uh, Demon Slayer surpassed uh, Attack on Titan on sales. Even though uh, Attack on Titan had 100 million sales of copies plus digital worldwide, including like the spin-offs and stuff. But then Demon Slayer had like, including the, in digital copies and uh, spin-offs and stuff, uh, with 120 million. And then December 4 was the time that the last volume of Demon Slayer sold. Uh, in the like shops and stuff like that and then oh my god if you saw how much the volumes just one just the last volume of Demon Slayer occupied in that one shop you would be I, I'm not even gonna say something season 4 drop I mean final season drop like best believe that Attack on Titan will again surpass and take his throne on the uh, one of the best selling mangas uh, I'm really gonna think like probably six months from now six months or a year from now uh, Attack on Titan will be like on the top because I can imagine both series like competing for the top not really on the top but I mean like one of the top but uh, be because uh, Demon Slayer's movie is still ongoing and it's going to be number one we all know it's gonna be number one it's gonna be Spirited Away I forgot the name but it's a Ghibli movie I think and according to uh, news that I've been looking at Twitter. Apparently, Attack on Titan only has 16 episodes, which, which means it cannot cover the whole manga, which they're expecting for a movie or a part 2 or like an OVA. But hopefully, it's gonna be a season 2, which is I'm more hoping for because I like to wait for the hype and then make more hype. But if they release a movie, it's cool, but obviously, I'm not gonna be able to watch it soon. Uh, and like, like, uh, season 2 part like the part 2's and stuff so basically yeah it's just gonna be Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan fighting for the Oricon chart sales which basically is like the weekly sales of the digital copies and 
uh, the Oregon sales will release this Wednesday and today is Monday so it will release this Wednesday so basically we're probably gonna see Attack on Titan somewhere around top 5 because but I think the Master was still go be going to be in the top 1 because the last volume dropped and the, the movie is still going and yeah I still think that Attack on Titan will defeat Demon Slayer in terms of commercial, commercially successful things. But are you hype? I am hype for the next episode of Attack on Titan. If you're not hyped, then there's something wrong with you. Go see a doctor or something. If you like this video, subscribe. And I don't really usually say that, but come on. Uh, this is an Attack on Titan video. Pro people will probably watch this and then say their various opinions because they said a lot of things, but who cares? If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity.